hey guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel just in case you are new here welcome to esther Modela's channel and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you always get notified whenever i upload new video so guys today is all about um chacha ak if you don't know who chacha ak is she's a very popular nollywood actress and she has acted so many movies her name is charity ak popularly known as chacha ak from ebony state she got married in june 5 2013 to austin fine who is from Anabra, and her husband is also a movie producer and also a movie editor some rumors have been going around that chacha ak is very sick so she had to come out to debunk this rumor and also clear the hair. She also said that the things that fans do say to her in her comment section are very unwelcoming and also unpleasant. She also stated that this is not the first time that rumor is coming out about her and her marriage. That in 2013, people blew rumor about her marriage that her marriage broke. Even her colleague said that their battery will last longer than her marriage. And here she is today. She's happily married to Austin Fanny, and they are blessed with three kids, two girls, and a boy. So, guys, so many people have been complaining lately that Chacha AK is very slim. Her body is not looking good. She's looking old. She's looking ugly, and all of that. So she had to come out to say that she is not sick. Nothing is wrong with her, and it's wicked for people to come up with such thoughts that she is sick. That she has been working really hard for the past months and that is affecting her physical appearance and also she go to the gym so nothing is wrong with her it's just a weight loss and she's also trying hard to look natural so this is the reason why her body is like that she also stated that the massive weight loss was also because she newly gave birth to her son and five months later she was stressing up herself day and night and she was also breastfeeding her son so this is the reason why she went down like that and she also said that she's going to bounce back but people are telling her that this is not the reason why she is like that that she has something that she doesn't want to say that she's hiding something that maybe she's going through something in her husband's house and she doesn't want to say it or she's trying so hard to make a marriage work so guys because someone doesn't post a marriage all the time doesn't mean the person is going through a lot in the marriage sometimes you your marriage will be sweet but you don't just want to share it on social media because it's your personal reason marriage is for you and the man alone not for the public yeah so she doesn't really want to be posting a marriage posting everything sometimes she posts once in a while she also said that in 2017 stroke 2018 that she stopped posting pictures on her page she, people said that um she has left her marriage that is the reason why she left social media unknowing to people that she only went on break sometimes this social media something stuff is also annoying there are sometimes you read your comments you read what people write about you people will just want to take a break so she decided to take a break and she came back to meet stories so also when she gave birth to her baby girl Kamara, her first daughter people told her directly that that child doesn't look like her or her husband because the child was light skin and her husband and herself they were both dark skin so people were also saying that that child doesn't belong to them so social media sometimes can just drive you nuts so she decided to go off social media for a while and came back to meet different stories sometimes when you give access to people too much you post everything they need to know even the ones they don't need to know you post them on your social media you are giving them access to know you more and you are also giving them space to create stories for you so sometimes when you are private is even better when you are public because what people don't know they cannot break if you put your life on social media just expect nothing than drama you'll be getting drama all the time you see people they talk about all the time it's because they are focused and based on social media so it's also good when you live a private life It's also good when you live a public life depending on how you want it if you want to be trending all the time is your cup of tea so she also talked about why she stopped doing makeup if you see her now recently you will notice that she don't do makeup she's always natural 
The reason why is because she said that her face is always reacting to all this makeup. You know, in Nollywood, they are always doing makeup, heavy light, this and that, work hard day and night with makeup on set, movie set. So she said those things were affecting her face, her body, even went to the extent of looking for cream to make her face look good because of the breakout and all that you guys know this already if you are using all these um many many makeup foundation this and that on your face and after wiping them before you know you start seeing some rashes on your face breakouts some acne so you guys know what i'm saying so she said that because of all those things you don't want to be experiencing that again because when you don't stop something that is bringing problem to you that problem will continue so because of that she decided to stop doing makeup and people are now complaining that you look like this you look like that when she was putting makeup on her face sometimes people would say oh your makeup is too much oh your makeup is this now she decided to be a real self she's not putting on makeup again people are still complaining that oh you don't wear makeup again did you change your religion are you now deeper life so many things like that you guys know sometimes we wear makeup on our face to look good just wear makeup to have a good picture and all that then later on you start facing the consequences sometimes you start facing acne breakouts pigmentation and all of that so you start looking for something chemicals to be like um, wiping all those things off and she said that she was looking for chemicals to wipe all of those things off her face and before you know it her face begin to get light and she's a dark skinned person and she started using all those chemicals before you know it, it was as if she was bleaching so she just decided to stop it it wasn't looking good on her so a lot of complaints she got tired and stopped wearing makeup so she looking natural with that makeup doesn't mean that she is sick she says she is not sick nothing is wrong with her and also for the hair you guys know she cut her hair recently and the reason why she cut her hair i'm gonna tell you that she said she went for a movie set she said the role she played in that movie she needed to make the whole thing look real and she went all blonde after the movie and all of that the rap all she decided to go back to her normal hair color which is black she said she put dye on her hair and also relaxed her hair so that gave her problem her hair started pulling off if you've tried this out before you know how it is your hair will start breaking and pulling off you just comb the hair it will just disappear so that was the reason why she decided to cut her hair and decided to make this an itabeka you guys know that hair now that was raining the other time like some years back so the hair didn't look good i'm going to be placing the pictures the hair didn't look good on that particular anita baker which she was using before like she normally cut that hair when she was in secondary school even some of her movie we see that hair so the thing didn't go well she decided to just like shave her hair and make the whole thing grow back so that's why she's looking like that even when i cut my hair even me too i cut my hair around october i was looking old different and and her home was kind of different because she was also like stressing herself and she had a newborn baby so all those stress was just the stress that was making her look sick so guys she is not sick nothing is wrong with her even after she has explained all those things people are still commenting in our comment section saying that um she is not um telling the truth that something is going on in our marriage guys please sometimes when people tell us what they are going through let's just take it like that even if anything want to happen in future let's just accept what she said what are you going to force off her mouth she told you what she's going through already that's nothing much just stress but people are saying that's not the real thing that is going on are you living with her what do you want her to say again so she will be all right just that she needs rest this is the only thing she needs now whenever she finish her job or whatever she can just like um get herself back you know how stressful to shoot movies are it's very stressful it's a stressful job if they start telling you how they live their life you will not understand you won't even believe it 
To get one day rest is problem. Some people even to meet their family members is problem. So and now she is currently with three kids. So you see, it's not easy for her. Even if she have a nanny, it won't be easy for her at all. She will also be thinking about her kids. When your kids are with nanny, it's different from when your kids are with you. So she will always want to be close to her kids. So she takes care of her kids, go to work. And her husband is a producer, a dictator, so it's not easy for the both of them at all. And she needs to work all day, all night. You know, guys, now she's not a producer. So Chacha AK is not a producer. You know, there is a lot of job when you are a producer. And it's kind of different from when you are just like acting, normal acting. Producing a movie is is very stressful. We come with lots of stress. You can see Uche Nase. She do a lot of stress because she's also a producer. So let's not just think like fast forward saying, oh, this is what she's going through. Nothing is wrong with her. She's going to be fine just with time. With little time now, she'll come back to herself. Everything, her weight loss and everything, she'll recover everything. You guys know Chacha Ike is not even the fat type. So she's skinny girl with this stress what do you expect so she would definitely slim down that's why she's like this nothing much okay so guys this is it you can share your opinion in the comment section and please for those of you who are dropping comments for her it really hurts when you write her some crazy comments okay she's human she read them so be very careful what you drop for um some of this celebrity because um not all of them can take it yeah chacha ak is a very bold and confidential woman she don't really easily get but that doesn't mean you should just go to a comment section to write whatever you think is best for you so please guys if you are commenting on all these um addresses comments be careful be mindful of what you send people some of these people will just comment anyhow you can't even take half of what you dish out some will just write whatever they feel like so be careful and mindful of what you comment on people's comment session Chacha ak is a very private person who doesn't like to like being in the public eye like want to like um showcase herself no she's not that kind of person she's a very silent person and always minding her business so guys yeah that's it Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.